press releases. This is another great way to get a contextual backlink. As you'll notice, we talk about contextual backlinks quite a lot in SEO Experts Academy because they tend to be the best links that you can get. Anything where your link is surrounded by content, like in the form of an article or a press release, these are great backlinks to get. And I want to talk about this in this video and give you a list of press releases for you to go and submit your content to. The links that you will need are in the download section. Just look under the video press releases in the download area and you will find all the URLs that I provide for you. So the first obvious question is what exactly are press releases? Well press release sites are news sites. They're similar to an article site but an article site isn't really news, it's just information. Press release sites are more about something new that's going on, that's just been released. Hence the name press release, like, you know, newspaper um, releases, they're press sites. So these sort of sites will allow you to submit what's called a press release, but really that's just an article, um, but it's a news article. So you can submit your press releases and get a backlink. Now some of you might be wondering, I don't know how to write a press release, and I'm going to explain that to you in this video with examples so that it becomes quite clear on um, how to write a press release. But essentially, you're just writing something news and submitting it to these sites, and you get a backlink in a number of different ways. Some of them will allow a link in the middle of the press release. Others will allow a link in the description area. Either way, you do get a backlink from press release sites. When you're writing a press release, even if you've got, say, an affiliate website, and you might think, well, it's not really anything newsworthy. Well, it really it is, especially if it's a new website, because a new website in itself is news. And I'll show you an example of this when we look at the press release sites. But just for now, let's say you have a new website on dog training. You know, and let's just make up a fictitious name and say that the website owner is called Peter Little. So you can write a press release in this type of angle. You could say, Peter Little from Dog Training Secrets, and I'm just making up this domain, by the way. Uh, no, Peter Little um, from DogTrainingSecrets.com have built the, this new website, which is helping consumers online work out the best information to help train their dogs. Little and his team at best um, dog treatments or whatever the domain is, have a range of informational content and recommendations and videos, etc, etc, etc. So you're sort of saying it in a newsworthy way, because if you've got a news site that's doing something, then that is news in itself. So that's how you write a press release um, in the article, in the, in the uh, sorry, that's how you write a press release for the press release sites. The obvious question is then, what do I do with my press release and where do I submit it? And I'm going to give you a URL, sorry, multiple URLs for you to go and submit your press releases to, so you won't have to worry about that. Just keep in mind, though, anything when you're doing writing, it's a good idea to use an article spinner because that will help the process of not having to do so much manual labor of writing a new press release every time you want to submit it to a site. So always include article spinning to speed up and this is this is the same for press releases okay so the first site I'm over at here is called free press index and I will provide a list for you of a whole bunch of press release sites so you don't have to worry too much about taking down any URLs if you um, can't keep up with me because I don't expect you to uh, remember all the URLs but I've got about 10 open on the screen now that you can get a backlink lot from. So the first thing I want to do is show you exactly what is a press release. So let me go to an example that's little, that makes it a little more obvious. Here is a site called pressreleasepublic.com. And as you'll see here, this is the press release itself. Um, it's about internet marketing. And a press release essentially is just an article that is newsworthy. It's got some sort of a news angle. Something new is happening, new and interesting. And that's what your press release is about. And a lot of you might be thinking, well, how do I write a press release if i am got maybe an affiliate marketing site or an e-commerce store? You know, I've got nothing really new to say. Well, I'll, I'll talk you through that in a moment. But you can see here, it says, Paul Light and Internet Marketing for Newbies Coaching Staff have launched a new marketing for newbies.co.uk have launched sorry internet marketing for newbies.co.uk a haven for anyone and everyone interested in earning through the internet but have no idea where to begin 
The website is an online membership site that offers a step-by-step -step program on how to earn money in, in the internet. Sorry, earn money in the internet. Okay, probably should say with the internet. But anyway, for people who are still finding their way around the World Wide Web, internet marketing and online businesses. So you can see, essentially, this person's just got an internet marketing website. Uh, it could be like my blog and that I, that I run, Matt's Marketing Blog, and I could just do the same thing, essentially, and just say Matt... Matt Carter from Matt's Marketing Blog and staff have just launched you know, a, their new site and have exactly the same angle. But the, the news in this particular item here is that it's a new site. And that, you know, that's newsworthy. Then you just talk about what you intend to do with the site and who the site is for and what sort of stuff you'll have on the site. That's the news angle right there. And you can do that with any website or e-commerce store you like. If you've got an affiliate site that's talking about dog training, or whatever it might be, then that's a news newsworthy enough um, on its own. The fact that you've got a new site, then you'll be reviewing the latest dog training information to help dog owners who are searching online to find the best, uh, you know, the best courses or equipment to help train their dogs and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. And you turn it into a news angle, and that's that's basically what a press release is, and that's how we use them in in the form of internet marketing, what well, one way and. You get a backlink as well. Now, the backlink itself is different for each site. Some of the press release sites will allow you to have your link right here in the middle of, you know, anywhere in the middle of the text. They're the best kind. They won't all let you do that. And in this particular example, they haven't. If you look right up top here, it's got company website. There is the link. It's a non-anchor text link. It's just a straight URL, but it's still a do follow link. I can highlight that with my do follow highlighting tool and it's not that obvious because it's almost the same color as the background that they have behind the um, that link line, but you can see that is a do follow. And there's a lot of different no follow tools you can use um, to highlight if a tool is if a link is do follow or no follow, but this one in particular we can see is do follow. So I'll just turn my little tool off. So there's a good link. It's not anchor text, but it's still a link. So there's different this one here again this one free press index is a little bit different you can see there they've got their link straight in the middle let me just highlight that so that's more of a it's a contextual link and that, there are better types of links when they're in the middle of an article but you know you get links wherever you can so that's a good link right there smack bang in the middle of the article so that's a good place to go and submit a press release to and get a backlink so that's a classic a press release backlink right there, and he's trying the person's link that they're linking back to their site is right here, Affiliate Millionaire. If I open it up, it's going to that particular site there. Yusis reviews uh, deep linking into, into inside his website, and it's a good do follow link. So I can move along and show a few more examples. And like I said, if you um, you don't need to remember all these because I'm going to be providing um, links for you. So this one here, I don't know if this one has actually got a link in it. I'll come back to that one. This one here is another press release here. Uh, this is called i-newswire.com. And it's a relatively short um, article, that one. And there's the link right there, company contact information. This time it's at the bottom. Let's do another couple. This is another one here, which is release-news.com. And there's your link right there in the middle of the press release. You can see it there and again down there. So there's the anchor text. Very similar to article marketing. It's just the content is written in a slightly different way. And you know, these sort of sites are not you know, exactly article sites. They're more news sites. There's another one here. This one's got the no follow turned on. As you can see there, it's gone pink. So that's actually a no follow link. Not a bad idea to have some no follow links mixed into your backlinking plan, but... Um, as you can see there, these are no follow. Uh, another example over here. This one is called PressReleaseCirculation.com, and there's a link up there on the top right website. And you are allowed anchor text, but it's not a contextual link, i.e., it's not down here in the article. These links here are advertisements. These are not anchor text links for SEO purposes. These are actually ads from a place called um, InfoLinks. So that's that's not the link. The link there for the article, the press release writer or submitter is actually that link in the top right there. Moving right along, look at a couple more. You got nanotechnology. 
there's the link down there. It's in the resources section. Whoops, there at the bottom you can see. Uh, another one here is this one's called directory uh, directionsmag.com. So this again is an article about internet marketing, and there is a link, and there is another link there, and there's another link, and there's another link. So they allow quite a few links on their page. This one, again, it's just a normal press release, same sort of deal as the one that I read out to you earlier. Here's another one, which is pressbox.co.uk, a UK site. Um, so here's the article, and I'm just trying to find out where they allow the backlink. It, I don't know if it's that. Let's just check that. That's going to press box. That's going. It's an internal link. So I'm not sure if these actually have a good external link. These guys or not? It doesn't look like they do. If they do, it's not in this article. So I'm not sure about that one. If they actually allow a do follow link. Another one over here is J.K. Hannock. And again, there you can see in the middle of this press release, uh, there is a link, uh, do follow link right there contextually that you can create for yourself. You can go to all these places, and again, I will provide you the um, URLs so you don't have to try and find them yourself. Uh, here's another one which is called adpr.com. So you can see at the bottom, there is the website link right there, do follow, not contextual. No anchor text, just a straight URL, but it's still, still a link nonetheless, which will help with your IP diversity. Um, just see if this one has one here. Uh, is this a press release site or uh, media syndicate? Yes, I believe it was. I'm just going to try and find if I actually... See if I could find an article on here. Japanese dining. Uh, there's the link at the bottom. Uh, there, it's not showing up. I don't know if that's do follow or not, but there is a link there at the bottom of that article on that one. And one more we'll look at here is prleap.com. And this is about internet marketing again. And then there's your link, there's your link, there's your link. This person doesn't have anchor text. I don't know if it means you can't have anchor text. I can't remember off the top of my head for PR Leap. You possibly may get a be able to use HTML and turn that into an anchor text link rather than just the raw URL on its own. So there's a run through of what press releases are and how to get a link from them. It's not difficult to do. Again, just you get the content written and you know save yourself some time. Use an article spinner. Make sure it's written in a newsworthy fashion. Don't just write it on a, like you would for an article directory where, where you're writing about a topic because they won't really accept that. And then you submit to these sites and you have a backlink in the content or in the resources section. Keep in mind, just like anything, when you're submitting content to a site, you eventually want the public URL of where your press release is on the internet. Because once these press release sites um, publish your press release on their domain, you need to know where it is. So you, you need to go and keep a record of the URL. So it might take a week sometimes more for them to approve and publish it. Sometimes it's instant, the, the minute you do it. But either way, you need, need to keep a record of where you've submitted and then keep those URLs on file somewhere. Keep an Excel spreadsheet of all your press releases and where they are because you will have to do some indexing work to help Google find these press releases. That's really important. You will have to go you know, look at the indexing video that we provide in um, SEO Experts Academy and make sure that you help get these article these press releases rather indexed by Google because remember until Google finds them or the other search engines those links those very important links in them won't get counted so we don't want that we want Google to find them and we want those links counted because that's going to help improve our search engine rankings so that's how you do press releases go out there use the list we provide and start submitting press releases that's all for me bye for now